So to start us off with part A, recall that one of our angular kinematics equations says that omega squared minus omega naught is equal to 2 times theta times alpha. Now we're looking for the angular acceleration in this problem, so we're going to solve for alpha. Algebraically solving for alpha by dividing both sides of the equation by 2 theta. We find this formula, that it's equal to omega squared minus omega naught squared, all divided by 2 theta. So the fan is coming to a stop, so its final speed is 0. Its initial angular speed is given as 850 revolutions per minute. That's being squared. And 2 times the, revolu the angular displacement, which is 1250 revolutions. This gives us an angular acceleration of negative 289 revolutions per minute squared. But we want to convert this into radians per second squared. So we convert from revolutions to radians by multiplying by 2 pi radians per 1 revolution. And then converting from minutes into seconds by multiplying by 1 minute per 60 seconds. And then this has to be squared because it's squared minutes. So if we put that into a calculator, then we find an angular acceleration of negative 0.50 radians per second squared. So that is the angular acceleration. Now for part B, which asks about how long it took for the fan to stop. A good formula to remember here is that when the angular acceleration is constant, then the angular displacement is equal to 1 half times omega plus omega naught multiplied by the time interval. Now that we have all these other variables except for t, we can just algebraically solve this for t. This is some pretty simple algebra. We just divide both sides of the equation by 1 half omega plus omega naught. We find that t is equal to 2 theta divided by omega naught plus omega. So the numerator is 2 times 1250 revolutions divided by the initial angular speed of 850 revolutions per minute. And then to get this in seconds, we convert from minutes to seconds. So it's 60 seconds per one minute. And if we put all this into a calculator, then we get a time interval of about 180 seconds. So that is the answer to this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing as that'll help me out in making more videos like this and also consider donating to my Patreon. I hope that, uh, if you have any questions or requests, leave a comment down below and I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.